Welcome and smile, my beautiful people that tune in and tune out <laughs> to Miss Adiation, the frequency, the messages, and yourself. I uh, have this um, gift of life to share with you, so thank you for receiving me and um, continuing to tune in and tune out. I don't normally say this. It's very seldom that I do, but please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Uh, it's good for the algorithms so that I can generate more views. Cool? Thank you. So if you know me, the widow, um, there's um, numerology, synchronicity, energy that is always present. And today, uh, being May 25th, 2023, I'm going to move a little closer so you guys can see. As above, so below. So five, two and three is five, seven and seven, which equals 14, which in numerology equals 555. And change is ever present, always happening. Um, and uh, seven is fortune. And I know that I am extremely fortunate, A, to be able to share this energy, uh, B, to be alive, C, to have all of my being as preserved as I am and the abilities that I know that I have beyond anyone's belief. Um, so that being stated, you're absolutely welcome. Numerology, synchronicity, and energy is exactly what we are um, in alignment, a ever-present kinetic movement, action, being of divinity. I don't know how you see yourself or how you feel about yourself, but if you saw my upload this morning, um, I speak of my flaws. I speak of my traumatic events. I speak of everything that could have destroyed me, could have, should have, would have, but has not. Um, I hope that today you truly understand and feel fortunate and embrace the change in your life. Um, a lot of people have reluctant or stagnant energy or action in change because they view it as intimidating or unwelcomed. However, it is the evolution, the edification of who you are and how you embrace it simply makes it easier or harder on yourself. Um, you like? I love. Um, I've met all kinds of people, and people are not all people. We are individuals. I've met human beings. I've met demons in the flesh. I've met animals um, <laughs> that come across as humans. Um, we are truly one of a kind. May you embrace your uniqueness. May you live beyond the labels and the emotional attachments. An example, when people say, you're fucking weird. Oh, Angela, that's weird. Yes, it is. Look it up in the dictionary. It means to be different and eccentric. And some people try to be different. I don't have to try. Some people try to be of a kind. I don't have to try. Be who you are beyond what you are told of yourself, beyond what is expected of you, beyond what is believed of you. That is truly the fortunate being, the one that is solidified, whole, and aware of self, beyond any label. The labels are for comprehension, not emotional connotations, but they are attached. And I am liberated and aware and intellectual to the point that I understand that those labels don't create those emotions in me. And the ones that do create emotion are based on reality. Um, traumatic experience that create disabling effects do not make me disabled. But they have disabled certain criteria in my life where I am fully capable of being whole and productive and representation of greatness, but because of the label society has inflicted for understanding of a condition, 
Right. My people, those that truly tune in to tune up, not just to critique or pass the time, but to tune up in energy, awareness, intellect, insight, the energy that I am present. <laughs> May my words reach you. I love you. Simply because we are. <laughs> right? I may not like you. I may not desire you. I love you. And where there is love, there can be understanding. There is respect. <clears throat> I can only give you what I have, and I have it to give. That doesn't mean that I will give it to everyone, but everyone is worthy of a chance. And because we are magnetic, when I do not feel the magnetism, I do not force what is not of thyself. So we should not have to explain why we do not like or feel or want to be around or in a person's energy presence. Individualism, it is to be respected for life is truly a gift. I gift you with welcome and smile. I hope that those that have not seen the journey tune in and tune up to where it all started, a safe house in Albuquerque, New Mexico, something I could have never imagined, as most of my life, <laughs> unimaginable, unpredictable, <laughs> sounds unbelievable, but is. <laughs> as I am, as you are, <laughs> one of a kind, I'm going to cover this. Here. Here's a gift for you. As I tell you guys, I read uh, beyond literacy, beyond literature, beyond energy. I read. I am truly gifted and um, thankful to be Miss Aviation Divination in the flesh. I'm going to read something that I hope brings you further love, further all of the above. Let the sun shine. Bring no negative thinking into today, beloved. Is that not the best way to begin the day every day? Receive the lesson that is the blessing. Come in total freedom from any negative grievances or thinking, stinking thinking. It is imprisonment in thyself. I have asked you, there are no grudges from the day before. A grudge is what makes people like the Grinch. Cold hearted, shriveled up, heart is soul. Heart and soul is the home. Those that are not at home within thyself will not be comfortable regardless of element, time, and place. So when I say I am at home, I am one, I am all in one, I am. That's why I can be comfortable in my nudity regardless of the sex that is present because nudity is not sexuality. And my sexual identification does not create sexual stimuli in me because I see a naked body. That is the mind and things of the flesh. And believe me, I'm sexual. I'm a sexual being. Did you not see my birthday gift? And I talk about masturbation and it ain't the first time I show you something like this. Oh, and yes, we are adults, so if uh, there are children present, please uh, do yourself the favor and get them out of the room so that no one is offended. Right, and uh, I'm going through my boxes because I truly have been packing up. Right, and uh, I want to thank my neighbor. <laughs> I call her Tits. 
I'm not going to say her government name because um, you don't need to know it. Uh, and her name is Tits because she got big ones. She's a beautiful woman. She's a Leo. <laughs> Fiery, as I. And uh, this is what she got me for my birthday. Why? Because it wasn't disrespectful. I told her what I like and what I need. And I don't have a man. And she fulfilled it. Remember I told you I called the suicide hotline? Right, because I'm transparent without shame. I can speak of what bothers, frustrates, needs I have without feeling less than for not having. So, I say these things to you so that you can A, enjoy the message, feel the energy, and begin to live. Smile, baby. You look better, you feel better. It is a lifestyle. And I'm living it. You're absolutely welcome. So perfectly imperfect beyond what is perceived or said. Let's break these generational curses. Let's be all that you truly know of thyself. Beyond braid, stigma, society, excuses. I love you and I will continue to do so as long as you are willing to love thyself. <laughs> and yes, um, remember, numerology, totally present. Synchronicity, totally present. May you become aware and enlightened of the synchronicities in your life. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'm scarred <laughs> in the physical, but I will never be broken. <laughs> you.